Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your news shot. I have some outstanding science news. Sciencealert.com. Scientists achieve direct counterfactual quantum communication for the first time. Communication without particle transmission. Listen to this. It says quantum communication of course is a strange beast, but one that is the weirdest proposed forms in its called counterfactual communication. And theoretical physicists have long proposed that such form of communication would be possible, but now for the first time, researchers have been able to experimentally achieve it. Transferring a black and white bitmap image from one location to another without sending f any physical particles. Now, if that sounds a little out there to you, don't worry. This is quantum mechanics, after all. It's meant to be complicated, but once you break it down, counterfactual quantum communication actually isn't as bizarre as it sounds because it differs from regular communi quantum communication, also known as quantum teleportation, because isn't that also a form of particle information transfer? Well, <laughs> the answer is not quite, my friends. Regular quantum teleportation is based on the principle of entanglement, where two particles that become inextricably linked so that whatever happens to one will automatically affect the other, no matter how far apart they are, actually takes place. This is what happened over with the Chinese and their new satellite, how they used quantum entanglement to transfer information from the satellite down to the ground in a way that is completely and totally secure. Now, uh, this is what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. And, of course, scientists already use it, China especially, to send messages over vast distances. But that form of quantum, quantum teleportation still relies on particle transmission in some form or another. The article says the two particles usually need to be together when they're entangled before being sent to people on the other end of the message. So they start in one place and need to be transmitted to another before communication can occur between them. Now, alternately, particles can be entangled at a distance, but it usually requires another particle, such as photons or particles of light, right, to travel between the two. Now, direct quantum or counterfactual quantum communication, on the other hand, relies on something other than quantum entanglement. It actually utilizes a phenomenon called the quantum Zeno effect. Very simply, the quantum Zeno effect occurs when an unstable quantum system is repeatedly measured. Because remember, in the quantum world, nothing truly exists until you observe it. Now, whenever you look at a system in quantum terms, or measure it, the system changes. And in this case, unstable particles can never decay while they're being measured, just like the proverbial watched kettle that will never boil. So the quantum Zeno effect creates a system that effectively frozen, it's effectively frozen with a very high probability. And it's based again on this Zeno effect and it defined, it's defined as the transfer of a quantum state from one site to another without any quantum or classical particle being transmitted between them. I mean, this, again folks, the advancement of technology is just going at breakneck speed. And when we start dealing in the quantum world, it really opens up a whole new world with whole new capabilities that we really as human beings have never dreamed of. And while it's exciting on the one hand, and it truly is, because now you're talking about being able to communicate across vast distances instantaneously, without having to wait, say, like a radio signal. Uh, Voyager, right, has passed, uh, passed, it's out of our galaxy and it, or uh, solar system, and it's just putting along through our galaxy. And so when it transmits anything back, it takes X amount of time to make it back to Earth. With a quantum communication system, especially one like this, that doesn't require any particles to transmit, you're talking about instantaneous quantum communication over vast distances. That, my friends, 
is unbelievably huge and opens the door to a lot of other things outside of communication, a la quantum uh, teleportation in that perhaps uh, the folding of space. So now that you, you don't need a spaceship or anything else to travel great distances across the universe, you just step through a door and you arrive at the other side. I mean, these are unbelievable advancements in technology that really aren't getting the exposure that they need because with these advancement of technology comes great power. And unfortunately, human history shows that this great power often, more often than not is abused. So stay tuned because it's really getting hot in the quantum world. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.